Hey everyone, Meat Banana here. Uh, another modular, modular AR uh, devlog here. Um, thought I'd spice things up a little bit, a um, little bit more visually interesting. Uh, I'm here at McGram's uh, Low Poly Outdoor Range. I'm here to show off a couple new things. Um, should be a shorter devlog, but um, still got some stuff to go over. Um, mostly actually kind of discussing planning what I want to do next. Um, but, uh, I, I figured we'd, we'd get some, some range time in as well. Um, so what have we got today? Well, um, I have just finished up a kind of default blank AR-15, um, just safe and semi. Um, as you can see, I've got a, a new barrel here. It's a 16 inch, um, carbine length gas system um seen a couple of those floating around and i was like ah you know that'd probably be a good good length to get in here um in addition to that i'm i'm tempted to do some some other um barrel lengths like a um like a 16 inch rifle length gas system but then you know uh, basically a dissipator length where the gas block is right here but then the muzzle is like right in front of it um so you can get like a semi shorty m16 uh looking thing but um anyways just a, a little bit about the barrel um we've got a magpul moe sl handguard on here um str moe grip and uh the uh good old mbus backup site um I suppose we can just get her started with a uh, whoops. Trademarked sound check. All right. Garbage shooting, but hey, it's whatever. Um, yeah, so let's see here. What all is new? Um, unfortunately, not that much beyond, you know, what we see here. Um, I, I have actually, um, let's, uh, let's get up and, uh, and move around here to, uh, the, uh, uh vice. Um, this is Andrew FTW's, uh, vice, um, which is actually now modular workshop compatible, uh, which is great. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, there we go. Now we can, perfect. Um, let's go over the skins for this AR-15. Um, I'm kind of using this as like a generic um, manufacturer <laughs> template here. So like here we've got a, an, an Arrow X-15, um, very popular um, lower receiver here. I'm just going to do a couple of like, um, Popular manufacturers, um, lower receivers here. I've got um, an, an Arrow. Um, what else have I got? I've got a uh, Spikes Tactical. Um, that wicked looking spider on there. Um, even though it does have the, the full auto marking on there, this is still semi only. Um, you're going to have to get cursed DLLs if you want, uh, if you want the full auto on there. All right, um, and then I also have that. Um, there's like this super neat red version of it as well, which just makes that that spider pop. Um, for those of you in the community who know, um, <laughs> my good boy Melon uh, and I go back, so um, I've made him a custom Melon Corp Solutions model ML15. Um, just a just a a personal request of his um had to do it um let's say uh, let's get up and and walk back over to the uh the shooting bench all right and um basically also what i kind of wanted to talk about with with these custom ar-15 skins um and, and what i'm planning on doing um it's very easy now for you know third party i.e folks like you um to just download Unity and a trial copy of Substance Painter. Um, 
which is a program for you know making textures for 3D models. Um, I'm going to share a base copy uh, of this um, lower receiver here and just you know the, the base material that I've made for it. Um, and probably down the road, I'll do a short uh, tutorial on, on how to add your own markings if you want to um, make and then sideload your very own um, personalized AR-15 lower. Um, it's really quite a simple process. The uh, most difficult part about it, I think, um, is just understanding and learning some of the nuances with Substance Painter. But I'll do my best to make a, a really straightforward tutorial for, for y'all. Um, otherwise, um, how are things coming along <laughs> with the rest of the project? Um, well, with this MOE SL handguard, um, as you can see, I'm starting to move over into some of the polymer and wood just destructible handguards um, in, in general. If we were to slap this on a full auto uh, lower and absolutely burn it down, um, you know, we'll get all the fire and the smoke and all that stuff. So uh, I've been working on those. Um, I got, um, actually, let's, let's, uh, let's pop over to the item spawner and take a look at, at where things are at. Um, so we've got our module arrow, AR-15, M4A1, and SR-15 and SR-16. So we still have a couple of receivers to do. There's that, um, let's see here. Well, there's obviously the, the M16. We have to get the M16 in and, um, you know, burst and full auto variants of that. Um, the Daniel Defense Lower is going to become a reskin of the module M4A1. I think that sounds good to me. That sounds reasonable. Um, but let's see here. What else do we have? The skeletonized receivers, um, the Saint um, Edge here, the Springfield Saint Edge. I uh, need to get that one complete. And then the TX-15. Um, I'm holding off on the SR-25 um, because I think I want to do, um, you know, module AR as a 5.56, 300 blackout um, intermediate cartridge mod. And then I'll save some of the big bore stuff um, for module AR-10. So these are going to move over into that mod. Um, I don't know. I, I, it makes sense to me. Um, the mod is already... <laughs> big enough as it is um let's see here so module ar extras i'm i'm slowly adding in more sites now we've got the m bus in there got the carry handle site some micro sites and the the stupid c note um getting those in there i have all of the muzzle devices in um they're now um properly named um some of these were were improperly named um Obviously, I haven't done the icons for any of these because I need to retake them. Um, but uh, all of these are in here along with, um, you know, all of their uh, secondary mounts, allegedly. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I've got all the suppressors visible when they should be just secondaries. A little bit hard to, to work with and, and troubleshoot without um, icons, but I'm getting there. Um, it's just taking some time. Um, yeah, so starting to flesh out things like iron sights and muzzle devices, um, that's coming along. Um, again, like I said, last <laughs> but not least, magazines, those are going to take some time. Um, some other things I'm kind of thinking about doing here um, are just separating and breaking up the mod a little bit. Um, I know we've got, you know, this AR-15, and then we've got the M4A1, and then there's the Aero M4E1, and there's all of these, these different receivers. Um, and I'm, I'm tempted to create just like a module AR parts mod. Um, that's, you know, all of the handguards, all of the core stocks, and, and all of that stuff. I'm tempted to do that as just its own mod. Um, you know, there's the aforementioned module AR skins mod, which is going to be all of like the extra fancy FDE gray, whatever. Um, but then I'm thinking about maybe just doing, um, individual receivers as, um, as DLC packs. So that way you don't have to download, you know, six, seven receivers just for, uh, for a single mod. 
Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, but I don't know. Um, that's kind of, that's about it for, for today. Um, just a, a little brief overview on, on where things are at and um, this, this new AR-15 receiver and, and all of its fun skins. So um, with that, let's, let's close out with another little fun, fun mag dump there. All right, perfect. Much better shooting than first time. <laughs> All right, uh, that's about it from me. I will uh, catch you guys later. Take care.